name's Anna Snyder and I am the Head of Children's Services at the Wayne County Public Library. I'm excited to get to read to y'all today. I get to share a lot of really good books with friends through my job. Um, if you come to Storytime at the library, you'll see me, or you may have seen some of our other story times we've done online this year. But I'm coming today to read a brand new book to you. We just got it in this week. It's called Ten Little Dumplings, and it's by Larissa Fan. All right. It's a lot of little boys on the cover. They don't look like dumplings. Let's see what they're going to talk about. All right. In the village of Feng Fu, at the top of the hill, in a very large house, there lived a special family. Special because they had ten sons. To have one son was considered lucky. To have ten was great luck indeed. Can you imagine having ten brothers in your family? Wow. Their parents called them their ten little dumplings. Not only because as babies they were round like dumplings, but also because, like sons, dumplings are auspicious, bringing prosperity and success. That's a lot of little boys to feed. <laughs> the ten brothers did everything together. Ten getting ready in the morning. Ten playing by the old fish pond. Ten eating rice at the big round table. Ten falling asleep by the light of the moon. Look at their big bed. <laughs> Wherever they went, the boys seemed to take luck with them. The sun shone brighter, the grass grew greener. They were so well known that the villagers sang a song about them. Everybody's stopping to look and look at all the ten brothers. Ten little dumplings, always top of the class. Ten little dumplings, running faster, jumping higher. Ten little dumplings, their brush strokes flow like music. And the ten little dumplings grew into ten fine men. How proud their parents were. All of their sons successful and respected. Those dumplings were my brothers. You may not have seen me, but I was there too. You just need to look more closely. I listened. Let's see, where is she? Right here. I studied. She's there in the back. I learned over here in the corner. I discovered I had my own talent. She's an artist. See her painting? And so I made my way in the world. Now I'm grown up and I have a child of my own. My own wonderful girl, my little dumpling. How lucky I am. And so this book is really interesting because in the back there's an author's note and the story was inspired by the author's family. So in their culture, sons were considered very lucky and her father had 10, he was one of 10 brothers. And she grew up hearing stories about all of her uncles. The 10 brothers were so lucky and interesting and wonderful. And it wasn't until she was older that she found out that her dad also had a sister. Um, so there is also a traditional um, folk tale from China about the ten brothers. And there was never a sister mentioned. They may have had a sister, but she wasn't in the story. So the author wanted to write a book where she kind of talked about that and brought in a traditional story and her family story, but also mentioned the person who isn't mentioned in the other stories. Like who is left out of stories sometimes and why are they left out? It doesn't mean they're any less important or wonderful, but sometimes they're left out of stories. But she was in this one, so I'm glad I got to share that story with you today, and I hope you all have a good day.